you've always got great insights, Eugene, especially on the future. If you look out five or 10 years, how do you think most consumers will find and receive care? Yeah, I think um, if you look into the trend wise, you know, this we've already seen them, some major trend and shift, right? Let it be adoption of the retail clinics. And all of a sudden that during the telehealth, the, um, the COVID, the telehealth all of a sudden that's kind of exploded, right? We are seeing the great success of those few early adapters, uh, let it be Lovangos of the world that our great friend Glenn up there do fantastic. I see his new company starting up there too, right? Let it be Teladocs and others all together too. I think, I think we're gonna start seeing more and more personalization of healthcare. Like we see the personalization in the travels and finance and other means. I think there is a great opportunity to really to um, you know break down this macro economy around healthcare under this pillars of you know you have three pillars like Medicaid, market, uh, Medicare, marketplace in between maybe, and then you got the commercial. I think what we're going to start to see is consumer individuals empowerment taking so many different shapes. My personal prophecy is that within the five to 10 years, we're going to have a maybe a one umbrella policy. It's almost like a progressive bundle policy. Under there, you're going to have maybe a health insurance for your elderly mom and dad or elderly, whatever your husband altogether. In this case, in my case, my wife will have a policy on me. Um, I think that your wife may have a slightly different version of a policy because the, the key challenge for providers, insurance companies, is that it'll be how do we capitate the risk, the risk that, that we are managing. So smaller the pool, even though conventional wisdom, right? You want the bigger pool actuarially so you can have it more. But I think the conventional wisdom is being challenged through these micro plans. I just recently, I think that uh, folks helped a recent health plan focusing on LGBTQ community. So health plans, custom problem tailored for that particular population. Um, as we get into the genomics aspect to it, I think we're gonna start picking up different trends. I am a Middle Eastern Turkish descendant. I am sure that somewhere in my genealogy, I have some mutations is gonna cause me and people with my background to develop maybe certain diseases. And I can see within the five, 10 years, some insurance company comes up, hey, Turkish people, you want a health insurance? I got, I know exactly what you're gonna go through. I have this special program that is catered for me. So the, in other words, that what I'm saying is, rather than building product for masses, I think what we're gonna start seeing that products finding their consumers through that curation, that reaching out to the individuals. And then we're gonna need these insurance aggregators and it could be the current state of it. I can see maybe United becoming an aggregator as a partnership with so many different micro insurance companies, being able to group them all together because I don't want to write a check to five different insurance companies under the umbrella. So I think that we're going to start seeing a true consumerization and aggregations and curation of the product and services as, as it relates to the healthcare. Mm -hmm.